All right, I think. See, yep, I'm live, I guess. Welcome back here for binder number 12. Um, in case I didn't mention my last video, and if you guys noticed, I did get a haircut yesterday. I remember my hair was really long, so I finally got it cut um, just in time for when I go down the shore in a few days. All right, here we go. Opening up binder number 12, we have a 2001 WWF promo picture of Spike Dudley. Nice big clear signature there of Spike Dudley. The little runt of the Dudley boys. So there's a the clear signature. Spike Dudley here opening up binder 12. Next we have the lovely Stacy Keebler. She wrote Love Stacy. There she is on a in a 2003 WWE promo picture. Um, Stacy Keebler in a nice black and white dress, and she signed right there, Love Stacy on the bottom. Very nice one there of Stacy Keebler. Her graph goes for a ton these days. Um, here's another one of Stacy Keebler. You see the long legs and the heels. So she writes, Love Stacy in a nice um, red and white polka dot dress. Love Stacy, Stacy Keebler. Trying to get the uh, autograph in the same picture there as the, just her legs are so long as you can see. All right, next is Stan Hansen there. So there's a nice one there of big Stan Hansen here with the, um, I guess that's the AWA Heavyweight Championship. So there's Big Stan Hansen signed over there in blue. So the big man Stan Hansen. There's a second one of Stan Hansen signed over there in silver. Got his arm raised, ready to fight the big tough cowboy. Bradshaw was inspired by him, Stan Hansen. Next we have Stan Lane. Um, we saw him earlier part of the Midnight Express. This is like when he was a WWF uh, commentator and announcer. So signed right here in green as Stan Lane. I think that one's relatively new. I don't remember if I had that one back in the spring when we did it. So there's Stan Lane. So a 93 type promo pitcher. All right, next is a 94 WCW type promo pitcher. It's Stars and Stripes. Um, Marcus Bagley just signed it as Buff though for some reason. And there's the Patriot up there. Nice WCW 94 prototype picture of the Tag Team Stars and Stripe. Marcus Bagel, who wrote Buff. And the Patriot, Dale Wilkes. All right, here's another one. This is a new one here of Stars and Stripes. This is like kind of like a photo collage of all, like all their different gimmicks. So there's Patriot like in WCW and WWF. Young Marcus Ag Bagwell and then Buff Bagwell and NWO and stuff. So he wrote Buff, NWO. He wrote Marcus Alexander Bagwell, WCW, so he wrote both gimmicks, Buff and Marcus. And then the Patriot over there in silver. So nice triple sign thing of two gimmicks of Bagwell and one of the Patriot. I heard Bagwell just got arrested for something recently, but there he is. Stars and Stripes, Marcus Bagwell, and um, the Patriot. All right, next we have the legendary Steiner brothers, mainly in WCW, a little time in WWF. He went to ECW briefly. Rick Steiner up there, Scott Steiner over there. This is when they were young, probably from like 89 or 90, the Steiner brothers, WCW pitcher. There's a close-up again, Rick and Scott. Here they are in the World Wrestling Federation when they were the WWF Tag Team Champions. Rick Steiner over here, Scott Steiner over there. Nice one there of them with the WWF Tag Team titles. So we saw solo ones of them earlier. We had a couple dual ones too of the great tag team, the Steiner Brothers. Next we have Stephanie McMahon. She signed right here, Stephanie McMahon, down there by her pants, um, very business-like, in blue, and by her hands. So a nice one of Stephanie McMahon, the boss. And she's pretty tough in WWE, the wife of Triple H. Here's a second one of Stephanie McMahon. She wrote, Steph, uh, stay cool, or stay tuned. Steph, stay too. That's Stephanie McMahon. That's when she was like younger, probably like 99, maybe 2000. Stephanie McMahon. All right, next we have Steve Armstrong from, um, he was a member of one of the Armstrong family. He wrote, uh, God bless you, Todd, Steve Armstrong. This is personalized to me. This is at a WCW um, TV taping at Universal Studios. And again, if you can't see it closely, it's like in silver over there. Steve Armstrong, he mailed this to me. The guy also played Lance Cassidy. And there's another one. He wrote, God bless you, Steve Armstrong. And there he is. There's Brad in the picture. And then I don't know who that girl is, but 
There's Steve along with Brad Armstrong, a nice cool thing from their personal collection that Steve gave to me. Next we have um, Steve Austin, when he was known as Stunning Steve Austin. Um, so he wrote, he actually wrote Stone Cold Steve Austin here, but this is when he was Stunning Steve Austin, though. So he wrote Stone Cold Steve Austin, number one. This is his WCW, though, when he was known as Stunning Steve Austin. This is um, came from High Spots. It's also Beckett Certed. This is when Austin was known as the Ringmaster when he first came in the WWF in late 95 and early 96. So he wrote Ringmaster, Steve Austin. And there you see him holding up the million dollar belt. So nice one there of Steve Austin as the Ringmaster. Not many of those out there. And there's the Beckett Cert on the back. Next is a nice one there of uh, his Steve Austin um, skull belt that he has. And he signed it right down here, Austin 316, giving basically giving people the finger up there. So there he is, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Austin 316, says, I just whooped your ass. There he is. Here's another one I got recently of Stone Cold Steve Austin. It is also Beckett certain on a WWE 2016 photo file. And um, there he's posing to the crowd in his jean shorts, and he wrote Stone Cold Steve Austin, right to open the can of whoop ass, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And here's a nice dual sign one of um, when he was the United States champion WCW in 93-94. Uh, he's with his manager, Colonel Parker. So he wrote, this one he actually did write, Stunning Steve Austin, and then Colonel Robert Parker over there. So there's a nice dual sign one of Stunning Steve Austin and Colonel Robert Parker in WCW back in 93-94. So very cool to have his autograph of him as Stunning Steve. All right, here's a nice dual sign one of Stone Cold Steve Austin and Stacy Keebler. So she wrote, Love Stacy. And then he wrote, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And there they are, um, about to have a beer and celebrate. This is probably from like an episode of Raw or something. So dual sign Stacy Keebler and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Next we have uh, the Lethal Weapon, Steve Blackman. He wrote, Steve Blackman, Lethal Weapon. There he is with the hardcore title, his kendo sticks. So pretty cool um, background there of Steve Blackman. He doesn't do too many signings, so nice to have his autograph in the collection. Steve Blackman, the Lethal Weapon. Next we have former ECW Heavyweight Champion, Steve Carino. He wrote King of Old School, Steve Carino. There he is with the ECW um, Heavyweight Championship. I guess he won it towards the end in 2000 or 2001. So the King of Old School, Steve Carino. There's the signature, very nice. This one's rare. This is uh, Steve Dahl, who also played Stephen Dunn from Well Done. He signed right here, Steve Dahl. There he is in the gold gym outfit. Not sure who the Ninja Turtle guy is in the picture, but there he is, Steve Dahl, along with uh, Michelangelo from the Ninja Turtles, and he signed over there as Steve Dahl. One half of Well Done. Next, we have the Brooklyn Brawler as Steve Lombardi. He's giving somebody here an arm bar. He signed right here, Steve Lombardi, like in a blue pen. So here's a close-up, Steve Lombardi. There he is in the red trunks working over um, an opponent. So that's Steve Lombardi. Next, we have Steve McMichael, former Bears and Packers player and also was a member of the Four Horsemen. Remember that, the Four Horsemen, baby? So there's Steve McMichael um, in a... Bill Paley Wrestling Inc. one, and his health is not good these days, but there's a nice one there of Steve Mongo McMichael, and he's ready to wrestle, folks. All right, next we have Dr. Death, Steve Williams. He's got a bunch of title belts here, and he wrote, thumbs up, Dr. Death, Steve Williams. Nice one there of Dr. Death, Steve Williams, posing for the crowd. And then on the back, we have the fan Bob Pivroff meeting him. He just signed it here as Dr. Death. So there's Steve Williams with Bob, and he signed it as Dr. Death. Next we have um, Steve Regal. This is not Lord Steven Regal. This is a guy who was like in the AWA, and he also competed briefly in the DF as a low-card talent on 86. So they called him Mr. Electricity Steve Regal. He signed up here as Steve Regal. So there you go again, Steve Regal. And here's the one you guys all know, William Regal, known as Lord Stephen Regal. So he wrote Lord Stephen Regal, WCW television champion. And then on top, we have um, 
Sir William up here. Sir William, who played, um, who's also known as Bill Dundee. So there he is as Sir William and Lord Stephen Regal. There's something else signed over here. I can't quite make out this says. Maybe it says Bill Dundee there. Yeah, I believe he signed over here as Bill Dundee too or something. But there at the top there it says Sir William and there's Lord Stephen Regal. So nice combo though of Regal and William when Stephen Regal was the television champion in WCW. Love this theme song there. Next we have, um, we saw Booker T earlier. We saw the Harlem Heat combo. This is just Stevie Ray by himself though. He wrote Stevie Ray, NWO. It's a nice one there of Stevie Ray. From Harlem Heat. Next we're going to have a few of the Stinger, Sting. So there it is signed in silver as Sting. This is around 1990, I think, when he won the world title from Ric Flair. So nice one, silver, signed Sting. There's a close up again. Here's a WCW photo file from 1998 when Sting was in the Wolfpack. And it says Sting right there in big silver. So there he is in the, the red face paint. And signed down there as Sting. So nice one there of the Stinger in the Wolfpack. Here's um, Sting in his later Crow type look. This is a WWE photo file from 2014. Signed up here as Sting. So there he's with the bat. Ready to do some action and bash people. So we got another one there of Big Sting. And I met him at, actually in person at the um, WrestleMania convention a few years ago. And it was in um, Brooklyn. Here's a combo of Sting and Lex Luger. This is after they won some like tournament, I guess. I see Sting's got a trophy. I don't know if this was in Japan or where this was. But there's a I've seen this photo around other places. This is a Sting and Lex Luger combo. Those two have always been good friends. There's another one of Sting and Luger together from the NWO Wolfpack day. So Sting signed it here. Luger signed it there. You have Conan and Nash in the picture, but it's only signed by Sting and Luger. Next, we have Strike Force. So we have Rick Martell, and he signed his Strike Force in the bottom. And then I mailed this to Tito later. He wrote Tito Santana, Hall of Fame 2004, Arriba. And then they are together. Strike Force, Rick Martell down there. And then Tito Santana there, they are holding up the title belts, looking good. So the great tag team, Strike Force, Tito Santana, and Rick Martel. There's a second one of Strike Force. So Tito Santana over there, Rick Martel over here, posing to the camera. There's a close-up of the signatures. Strike Force, Tito Santana, and Rick Martel. Next we have um, another gimmick here of um Fatu or Rikishi, when he's known as the Sultan. So he wrote Sultan WWF. We saw him earlier with a Backland and a Iron Cheek combo, but there's the Sultan by himself. Sultan WWF, and there's a close to begin the signature. Next we have the lovely Summer Ray, and she signed over here in um, a gold kind of color. It says Love Summer, and there she is um, flexing in the ring while Fandango cuts a promo in the background. So again, Summer Ray. Here's another one of Summer Ray. I guess just posing in bed. It says Summer. There she is right there. Daniel Manette as Summer Ray. Here's the one I got recently. It's a combo of Summer Ray and Fandango. They're doing their little dancing that they do in the ring. Summer looking down and Fandango holding and leading the way. Fandango signed up here in the uh, silver. Summer signed it there in the gold. And this one's also JSA certain, making it real. So there they are together again, Summer Ray and Fandango. Nice close up there of that one, looking good. JSA certain. And there's the JSA cert, um, proving it's real. Next is another combo one here. Um, this is Summer Ray over here in the dress, and the man she's managing here is Tyler Breeze. Remember, Tyler Breeze had like a, um, a gimmick where he did selfies. So it's funny too because I think Breeze and Fandango later formed a tag team, and they're both formally managed by Summer Ray. So there's Summer Ray down there, Tyler Breeze over there. I thought Summer was um, pretty hot back in the day. So there she is with Tyler Breeze. Next we have Sunny. Uh, Tammy Sitch, who's now in prison. So it says, stay cool, Sonny. And there she is posing uh, to the crowd, or to the camera, I should say. Sonny in a unique dress. Stay cool, Sonny. Okay. 
Perfect. And here's another one of Sunny. So there's Sunny in a, um, you know, gray kind of top. So it says Sunny there, and there she is posing to the crowd. Sunny. All right, here's another one of Sunny. It says Tammy Lynn, Sunny 2011, WWE um, Hall of Fame. So there's Sunny again. Tammy Lynn is Sunny in ECW. Here's a new one I got. This is Super Crazy by himself. We saw um, some comments of him with the Mexicools. There he signs it as Super Crazy. Coming down in the ring on the ECW arena. Super Crazy. There's a close-up again, the signature. Super crazy. Next, we have the Super Machines. I think I messed up earlier. So this, is, again, is the Super... Uh, let's see if we're on or not. I don't know if we're on because the... Okay, let's see. Connection here. Um, hopefully, it's going through. I don't know. So the connection keeps going in and out. Uh, let's see. Hopefully we're connected here. This is the Super Machine, though. Sign over here, Super Machine. Um, he was played by Demolition Axe. Big Machine, I believe, was played by um, Blackjack Mulligan. So this is Super Machine, who is Bill Eddy, Demolition Axe. Sign down there as Super Machine. Next, we have um, a Superstars collage picture. It's signed by a bunch of people. So we have Honky Tonk Man up there. Then we have Hacksaw Jim Duggan over here. We have Brutus Beefcake signed by Elizabeth. Ricky Steamboat over there. Bobby Heenan over here. One Man Gang down there by Bravo. Butch Reed over here. And Greg Valentine over there. So signed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have nine guys signing this. This is on a Superstars of Wrestling. It's a collage type page. And it's signed by nine individuals. And some of these guys have since passed away. I know Butch Reed is now deceased. Um, I think that might be it. And Bobby Heenan. Yep. So those two are now no longer with us. But pretty cool um, nine photo signature on this Superstars 88 type picture. Next we have Sylvester Turkai. So he wrote um, The Collector, OVW, ECW, Sylvester Turkai. So there he is. I don't know if it's pronounced Turkay or Turkai, but there he is, Sylvester Turkai, briefly on SmackDown back in 2006. And there's a close-up of the signature. Next we have X-Pac when he was known as Six. So he wrote Six-Pac there. This was Six from WCW and NWO days, Six. All right, this is another one there of TNA on a WWF match sheet. So we have Prince Albert over there, Test over here who since passed away, and then Love Trish Stratus. So three of them together, TNA, uh, which was which comprised of Test, Albert, and Trish. So there's the three signatures combined on a WWF match sheet. Next we have Tajiri, the Japanese buzzsaw. So there it is, Tajiri signed down over there. Nice one there of Yoshiro Tajiri. Next we have Sunny, um, when she was known as Tammy Sitch. So she wrote Tammy Fitch or Sitch, and there it says Sunny. So there she is when she signed it as Tammy. She used that gimmick in um, USWA, Tammy Fitch. Here's um, a current product wrestling diva in TNA. Her name is Taryn Tyrell. So it says, love Taryn Tyrell. There she is with the belt. Nice one there, Taryn Tyrell. Here's Tatanka. It says 1992. This is like shortly after he first debuted on a promo type picture. So Tatanka. And there he is when he had the long white tights. As he changes look later, Tatanka. There's a second of Tatanka. Still in that early stages in those tights. So it says, WWE legend Tatanka 2020. And there he is. Getting things from the gods, so looking good. Tatanka, signed in green. And there's another one of Tatanka here. This is when he changed to the blue trunks with Chief J. Strongbow in the ring with him. He wrote WWE legend 
Tatanka 2021. So nice one there of Tatanka on Monday Night Raw. Having a tribal ceremony there with TJ Strongbow. Only signed by Tatanka. All right, next we have a dual sign one of some current product divas. This one's known as Tay Conti. The other one known as Anna J. There they are together in their boots and heels looking good. So again, Tay Conti down over there. Anna J over there. And there's the overall photo of the two of them together. All right, and that was five spots inserted as well. All right, next we have Taya Valkyrie. We saw her earlier with Rosemary combined. There she is by herself, though. This is the girlfriend of um, John Morrison these days, Taya Valkyrie. So she wrote, Love Taya. And there's a picture of the actual photo. I think that one's pretty new. Here's Taz. He's tough to get these days. He wrote Taz 13. There he is. The big man from the Red Hooks District section in Brooklyn, New York. Big Taz. Next, we have the daughter of Rowdy Roddy Piper. Her name is Teal Piper. I like how she signs it in a teal color. So there she is um, in her boots and stuff. So Teal Piper. Who knows if she'll make it someday, but I always get these kids of the past legends. You never know. All right, next we have Team Angle, which consisted, of we saw earlier, of Shelton Benjamin. And we also saw earlier Charlie Haas. So there they are together as Team Angle on a 2003 WWE promo picture. Team Angle, so again, Shelton, Charlie Haas. And again, the photo's fine, just the, the sleeves get dirty, so as you can see, it looks fine. Team Angle. Next, we have Ted R. City. So he was a big strong man who competed um, in the WWF, like around 86 or so. Big Ted R. City. And then he also mailed me his own 8x10. So you sign right here in a pen, Ted R. City. And it's like this whole thing about TedRCity.com and some website, but pretty cool though. He sent me this photo, so I included it in my binder. Next, we have the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase from High Spots. He wrote Ted DiBiase. There's the dollar sign. And this is a High Spots photo. And there's the High Spots thing on the back. Here's another one of Ted DiBiase. He wrote Ted DiBiase money sign. There he is in a parking lot. Coming out of um, an indie show, I guess. So the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase again. Here's a combination of DiBiase and Virgil. Andre in the picture with them, but only signed by DiBiase and Virgil. So it says Ted DiBiase dollar sign, Virgil dollar sign WWF. So there they are together with Andre from 1988. And it's signed just by Ted and Virgil. And there's a close-up again of the signatures. Next is Ted DiBiase Survivor Series 89 team, and it's signed by him and the Powers of Pain. Zeus did not sign this one, but I do have some solo Zeus ones you'll see later. So there is the Barbarian over here, the Warlord there, and Ted DiBiase with the dollar sign over there. And like I said, Zeus in the picture, who since passed away, but he did not sign this one. So we have the Powers of Pain and DiBiase. Here's another DiBiase combo one with um, comma. So he wrote Ted DiBiase dollar signs when he's managing the million dollar corporation. And then it says comma SFM Supreme Fighting Machine. So he originally signed it in yellow. It didn't come out so good. So he signed it again in blue. So it's like he signed it twice. Comma the Supreme Fighting Machine with Ted DiBiase cutting a promo. Probably from 95 or so. Next we have um, the son of the million dollar man which is Ted DiBiase Jr. signed it up here on top and the manager Maurice. We saw Maurice earlier by herself and with The Miz, but there she is with Ted Jr. So again, Ted Jr. over there on the left by the belt and Maurice signing it by herself. So there's a nice combo of Ted DiBiase Jr. and Maurice. We saw him earlier in some combos. Here he's by himself, Holland Me Playa, Teddy Long. Uh, I have 15, Richie. This is number 12. I have 12 big ones and three smaller ones, so I'll be winding it down tomorrow. This is Teddy Long, but I have a really good personal collection. I'm like the best kept secret around because I'm not a big time vendor like most of these guys. And all these videos go on YouTube too, so if you miss anything, you can check it out on YouTube. Uh, here's Tenzai. He's giving a big elbow drop to his opponent. That was Albert, when he's known as Tenzai. Yeah, I've been going on a while. This is the last one for Tim. Do a couple tomorrow, and then we're good. Okay. 
Next we have Terry Runnels looking very sexy there in um, jeans and you know holding by her belt, signed in blue with a shirt. This is the lovely Terry Runnels who also played Marlena. There's a second one of Terry Runnels where she's like on a golf course in heels trying to be um, I guess slutty or something. I don't know what she's doing. Sign up here, Terry Runnels, and there she is. And basically wearing hardly anything there, Terry Runnels. And there's a third one of Terry Runnels. This one's JSA Certed, making it real. She's got the pierced belly button ring and a nice red top and interesting color pants. So the lovely Terry Runnels, who also played Alexandra York. Yep, that's correct. In the York Foundation, it's JSA Certed. Next, we have the ECW hardcore legend, Terry Funk. He wrote ECW champ, Terry Funk. There he is with the belt. So nice one of the hardcore legend, Terry Funk. I don't think his health is too good these days. Does that mean Eric Sims is going to be paying a visit to Terry Funk's ranch in Amarillo, Texas? Maybe. There's Terry Funk. Here's a nice dual sign where a lot of people have this. It's Terry Funk over here and the King Jerry Lawler over there. So he wrote King Jerry Lawler, WWE Hall of Fame 07. Terry Funk sign over there. Funk about to give him a beating. Not sure what federation this is from or if it's an indie one, but it's pretty cool. It's dual sign again by Terry Funk and Jerry the King Lawler. Next we have a rare one. This is a low card talent guy from WWF. His name is Terry Gibbs. So he signed right here as Terry Gibbs. Ready to get beat up. Yep, as soon as he watches this video, he's going to drive down to that uh, ranch in Amarillo, Texas. You're right. So again, Terry Gibbs, low card jobber talent in the WWF for many years. We saw him earlier as the Red Rooster. Here he is, his regular Terry Taylor. And he's got um, some belt from another organization. I don't know where it's from, but nice clear gray signature there of Terry Taylor. Next, we have the daughter of Tully Blanchard. Her name's Tessa Blanchard. Sign over here. She's got a red top and some sexy heels. A nice one there of Tessa Blanchard. Here's a second one of Tessa Blanchard. Not sure what city. She's visiting some city on a boat, it looks like. She's wearing red pants, heels, and a black tank top. But again, Tessa Blanchard. I met her in an indie show um, a while back. And there's a third one of Tessa Blanchard in jeans and a black top with her heels again so sign down here tessa blanchard i always like the sexy look of torn jeans tessa blanchard next we have um a big deceased wrestler test and this one's also jsa certain making it real so there's big test and there's a second one of test this is like a little bit later on like i think when he was matched by stacy keebler in ecw so there he is his test when he had the shorter haircut He's with Kelly Kelly at this time, I believe. Test. I got this one at a virtual signing. I forget who it was. It might have been, um, who was it? it was either Nick Christie or Captain's Corner or somebody like that. This is Tex Slashinger and Shanghai Pierce, who also played the Godwins. So he wrote Tex Slashinger, a.k.a. Um, what's Phineas Godwin's real name? I forget what his real name, whatever his real name is, though. And then Shanghai Pierce, a.k.a. Mark Canterbury. And then he wrote WCW 1992-1994. This is from a virtual signing, though, of Tex in Shanghai. Here's a rare one. This is um, Thunderbolt Patterson. This is like some WCW Slamboree Legends photo they have. So it's John Tulos, who was the coach. Red Bastine and Jimmy Val Valentine or Valiant? Valentine, yeah. This is Thunderbolt Patterson. He actually signed it over here. Thunderbolt Patterson. It's a nice one there. The best. Not many Thunderbolt Patterson autographs out there. All right. Next is Tiffany and Katie Lee Burchill. Dual sign. So Tiffany over here. Katie Lee over there. This came from Bill Paley. Wrestling. Uh, Dennis Knight. That's it. Dennis Knight was the guy for the name for Vinius Godwin. Okay. So there's Tiffany and Katie Lee. We have Jimmy Rooney, Richie Sorrentino watching us. Thank you for your support, guys. Next, we have a rare one, Tiger Ali Singh. There he is posing the ring, raising his hand to victory. So Tiger Ali Singh, not many graphs of him out there either. And on the back, um, speaking of Tiger Ali Singh, this is the guy who managed him. His name was Babu, also known as El Porto Ricaño. So he wrote, um, best wishes, Babu here. And there he is with Bob Piver off the fans. That's Babu, who played... Um, also, El Puerto Ricano from ECW. There he is with Bob Pivroff, signed as Bad Boo. 
All right, next we have Tiger Chung Lee. Um, he was very tough to get until he did some virtual signing or came to the gathering or something like that. There's Tiger Chung Lee, though, um, in red tr tights, though. Partnered up with Mr. Fuji back in the day. And there's a second one of Tiger Chung Lee, signed here in green. He's getting beat up by Pedro Morales, signed by Tiger Chung Lee. Next, we have White Lightning Tim Horner. I think I think Jimmy Rooney got Tim Horner from t -Mot, right? You do the t -Mot dance when you got it. So there's Tim Horner, ready to get tagged in the ring. So we have Tim Horner, low car talent, but very quick in WCW, NWA, and WWF for many years. Tim Horner, White Lightning. Close up with the signature again. Here's a rare one. He's since deceased. They call him Suicide Tim White. Remember that funny angle he did? This is a 2000 WWF promo pitcher. He was um, helped handle Andre Giant and brought him to events. But here he is as Tim White, the great, great referee. Very funny man. Not many graphs of him out there. Here's a common graph, Tito Santana. And there's Tito Santana beating up Rick Martel. So a nice one there of El Chico, El Tito Santana there. Here he is as El Matador Tito Santana on a 1991 uh, promo type picture. So he wrote El Matador Tito Santana Arriba. Just retired from teaching this past year. So El Matador Tito Santana, a New Jersey guy like myself. Here's a dual signed PSA one. It's a combo of Tito Santana and Ivan Putsky. I guess they were the tag team champions at one time, or at least holding the belts here. So Tito down there, Putsky over there. Nice dual sign PSA photo, making it real. Next, we have everyone's favorite plumber, T.O. Hopper. So the plumber, T.O. Hopper, signed it over there. So T.O. Hopper, the plumber, also known as Dirty White Boy, Tony Anthony. T.O. Hopper. Did you get a signed plunger of T.O. Hopper, Jimmy Rooney? Um, Thank you, Brad Rochester, for getting this to me at the gathering a few years ago. This is from Todd Champion, who's a low-card uh, wrestler, one half of a tag team called the Patriots, with a wrestler named Firebreaker Chip. This is Firebreaker Chip. He's impossible to get. I don't know anybody who has his graph. This is Todd Champion. He wrote one half of the Patriots from Todd Champion 2021. It's a nice, cool paint pen. It looks thank our pal. Very, very cool Brad and Braden for getting us this autograph at the gathering in 2021. Time flies. That was already two years ago. Wow. Here's Todd Gordon from ECW. And this came from Bill Paley and Wrestling Inc. So that's Todd Gordon, the commissioner of ECW. There's a close-up of it. Here's a super rare one. The guy used to give you King of the Ring reports. And a uh, funny guy replaced Sean Mooney on a magazine page of Todd Pettengill. Remember, it's funny. I actually met him back like in 94. And I met Dwayne Adam Bomb. I said, I don't even want your autograph because I thought he was like a loser. But... <laughs> Probably embarrassed the guy, but there's Todd Pettengill. Okay, and Rooney says Brad and Braden want a T.O. Hopper plunger. Okay. There's the back of that magazine page with Jim Neihart. All right, this one I also got from Brad and Braden. This is from um, an enhancement talent named Tom Bennett. So it says, best wishes, Tom Bennett. Or maybe Bennett sent this to me himself. I think Yeah, he sent this to me himself. I think Brad and Braden gave me the address, though. So there's Tom Bennett. He was like a jobber in the WWF around 1990 or so. Here's a super rare one, Tom McGee, who fought Bret Hart. He writes very small, though, so he wrote, Best to Todd, Tom McGee. So this is the guy who had that legendary match with Bret Hart in 1986. They did a documentary on him. Faced some other guys like DiBiase and Arn Anderson and a couple others. Tom McGee. We have Travis Runkle joining us. He's taking a look at our cool video here. Next, we have Dr. Tom Pritchard. So he's one half of the Heavenly Bodies, Dr. Tom Pritchard. Like I said, this video will go on YouTube as soon as I'm done. Next, we have the Z-Man, Tom Zink. Extremely rare autograph. One of my friends, Claudio, loves Tom Zink autographs. They're tough to get. So there's Z-Man, Tom Zink. And Tony Schiavone, who's doing the platform interview. He's over here. It's Tony Schiavone, dual signed. Tom Zink, the Z-Man, and Tony Schiavone. And then the back is Bob Pivroff meeting Tom Zink. So he signed it as Z-Man. There he is, Tom Zink with Bob. So Z-Man, Tom Zink. Next, we have an ESS photo. So I probably paid more than it's worth. Um, from Tommy Cairo and Peaches. So it says Iron Man, Tommy Cairo the fourth, and Peaches over there. This is Tommy Cairo. 
Peaches is, of course, the wife of the Sandman. It's dual signed by the two of them. There's a close-up of it. Iron Man, Tommy Cairo, and Peaches. Next, we have the hardcore legend himself, Tommy Dreamer. Signed it down there. Tommy Dreamer. A nice, cool um, photo with, like, three different images of Tommy Dreamer. Next, we have Wildfire, Tommy Rich. So he wrote Tommy Rich, Wildfire. Nice one there of Wildfire, Tommy Rich. Low-card guy in WCW for many years, but he's also a world champion. And last one, the partner of Bobby Fulton, Tommy Rogers, who's dead and very tough to get. So this is personalized to a guy named Al. He wrote Al, Tommy Rogers, AWA, and Wendy Richter's in the picture with them. We got Bobby Fulton as well, but, you know, I don't want to send this out to Dylan Hines and he gets lost or something like that. We need this. So this is Tommy R Rogers. Um, Travis, this varies. This is some WWF, some WCW, some ECW, some current people. Uh, but it's my wrestling collection. This concludes Binder 12. I will do the last few um, tomorrow. Have a good one, everybody.